And there you have it. It ain't pretty, but it gets the job done. Hey guys, it's Friday morning and I have 18 eBay orders to ship out. Let's get to work. Okay, first thing is a tennis racket. This is a vintage Rosignol racket. I've never seen one of these. Uh, this company is more known for skis and boots and that type of stuff, so I didn't even know they made tennis rackets. Um, I got this for a dollar, and it was part of the uh, sale I'm running. It sold for $13.99 plus shipping. Anytime I sell a tennis racket, I get a lot of comments about how I ship it, so I will show you guys. Okay, so obviously tennis rackets are a very awkward, long shape. So what I do is I take two Priority Mail long boxes. Uh, these are the 1092 boxes. My post office has them, but I don't think most of them do. But you can get them on USPS.com. They come with this self-adhesive tape, although I don't think it's very strong. So I like to put an extra piece of tape over top just to make sure this doesn't pop open. I'm gonna put some bubble wrap around this thing. I'm gonna stick it in one box. I'm gonna put the other box over top. And you will want to put a lot of tape around this seam. And there you have it. It ain't pretty, but it gets the job done. I also use this uh, anytime I have like a long board game that I gotta ship. Okay, moving right along. Sold a pack of 100 DVDs for my mother-in-law. These are also part of the sale. These sold for $15.39, free shipping. Sold a die-cast car, uh, Daryl Waltrip. It's actually a truck. This one right here, uh, it's part of the recent bulk buy I just made of die-cast cars. So I have $5 into it. It sold for $24.99, plus shipping. We're pulling another one out of here. Kevin Harvick, here he is. This is part of the die-cast buy I made at a garage sale oh, probably like six months ago. Um, I've sold almost all of those cars and I've made some pretty good profits. So there's only a few left over. This one was part of the sale that I'm running. So it sold for $5.99 plus shipping. And this is going to a viewer named Zach. Zach, thank you for the support, man. I really appreciate it. Okay. Next order has six cameras and a few of them are here in B7. Okay. First camera is a Kodak baby brownie. There's actually a few in here, I think. All right. This is one of them. These are all part of the big camera buy I made maybe two months ago. So I've got about $3 into each of these. Uh, one is a Bullseye 620, this guy right here. Another baby brownie, this little guy right here. And there's one or two cameras at F1. We have a Flash 620 and a Duraflex. Here's the Duraflex. That just has a cool look to it. There's the Flash 620. And the last one is up here in this box. This is a Kodak Flash Mite. Okay, all six of these sold for $51.94 plus shipping. All those cameras are going to a viewer named Christopher. Christopher, thank you for the business, man. It means a lot. Okay, one more pack of DVDs are going out. These iMation, pack 100. Um, these are also part of the sale I'm running. These sold for $18.39, free shipping. And these are going to a viewer named Don. Don, thank you for the support. I appreciate it. Okay, it turns out I sold another car out of here, this Hulk one. Got $5 into this, it sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Sold something out of E6. These are vintage Simpsons school folders. Uh, I got these two or three months back uh, from a bulk buy. I think I originally had them listed around like 30 bucks, but they're part of the sale I'm running. They sold for $24.49 plus shipping. Next is an A2. This is a lot of Fisher Price little people. Uh, my daughter had these and she just lost interest. There's 14 all together. They sold for $13.99 free shipping. Okay, now we're going to A3. Sold these metal detecting headphones for my mother-in-law. They sold for $14.39 plus shipping. All right, next is an Atari game. Pole position, this one is complete with the box and everything. Uh, it was part of the sale I'm running. It sold for $7.99 plus shipping. And this is going to a viewer named Adrian. Adrian, thank you for the support. Hope you like the game. Okay, next is a bobblehead. This is a sunny gray bobblehead. We got a handful of these when we went to see a spring training game in Arizona. Uh, we kept one and we sold the rest. This one sold for $19.99 plus shipping. All right, the rest of the orders we're pulling are in storage. Handful are in H3. I sold an old map of the moon. Here it is, I got it in this protector here. Um, this sold for $24.99 plus shipping. I also sold this ribbon. This is with some paper ephemera stuff I had from a long time ago and I just finally got around to listing. 
Um, this sold for $19.99 for shipping. Okay, there's a Led Zeppelin sign down in here. Electric Magic. Uh, this is a metal sign. It sold for $6.99 plus shipping. And that buyer also bought a backpack from me. Uh, I think it's in this box. One of these Wenzel backpacks. I think it's down here at the bottom. Got this retail arbitrage for maybe five bucks or so. Um, and I had it listed for a few months, so it's part of the sale I'm running. This sold for $13.99 plus shipping. Both of those items are going out to a viewer named Daniel. Daniel, thank you for the support. I really appreciate it. Next is an H4. This is a lot of 24 little uh, video connector pin things. This is in that big video audio buy I made a couple months back. These sold for $31.99, free shipping. Now we're going to G4. I think there's a couple things in here that sold. These headphones sold. I've only got a dollar or two into these. These sold for $15, free shipping. And these two right here sold. It's a Kevin Harvick car. This sold for $11.99 plus shipping. And this Yankee Candle uh, scent warmer sold. This sold for $5.99 plus shipping. Both of those are going to a viewer in Hawaii named Christina who has bought for me before. So Christina, thank you for the continued support. It means a lot. Got a couple packages in the mail from viewers. Let's crack these open. All right, first is from the Pineapple Picker out of Virginia. Oh, wow. Look at that. 1967 baseball rules book. Oh, that is cool. Looks like it's in really good condition too. I'm a big baseball buff, but I'm kind of a history buff too. And I love old stuff like this. Yeah, this is in really good condition. And there is a note. John, thank you so much for the stickers. We bought a storage unit recently and I thought this was pretty cool. Thought I would send it your way since you are into baseball. With much appreciation, Crystal the Pineapple Picker. Crystal, thank you so much. That is very kind of you. Okay, next from Thomas. This is the Homer Bailey Dual Bobblehead. Homer Bailey is a former pitcher of the Reds. I want to say he's with the Oakland Athletics now. He got bounced around. The Reds traded him to the Dodgers. The Dodgers released him. And then I want to say the Royals picked him up. And then he went to the Athletics. He might be with another team now. But he threw two no-hitters with the Reds. And they made a bobblehead to commemorate it. And that's what this is. Looks like one of the homers got damaged in transit, unfortunately. But I think I can just glue his foot back on there. Yeah, that's not too bad. All right, there's something else in the box, too. Looks like a coffee mug. Oh, man. Riverfront, Cincinnati, Ohio. That is cool. Looks vintage, too. Thank you, Thomas. Thank you for this and the bobblehead. That's really nice of you. And he also sent a note. John just wanted to send a little something your way to show our appreciation towards your dedication to inspiring others to resell. We're avid viewers of your channel and others as well as Garage Shed Flips, Part-Time Pickers, and The Commonwealth Picker. Those are some of my favorites. Tom and Tracy, aka PDM Wooding on YouTube. I will be sure to check out your channel, Tom and Tracy, and thank you so much for the package. That was really nice of you guys. All right, since this is the end of the week, I'm gonna update you guys on my momentum board. I've been churning out some really good listings lately, just doing a bunch of listings. Uh, last week I did 78 listings for 22.45. Week before I did 91 listings for 28.42. This week I started listing on Sunday. Sunday I did eight listings, Monday nine, Tuesday only three, but then I did 16 Wednesday, zero on Thursday because I had a lot to ship out and then 16 today. I had my current listings um, over 600 just a week or two ago, but I've made a ton of sales. A lot of that is thanks to you guys just showing me so much support, buying stuff for my store. So my store is currently at 561 listings. That's it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.